everyone, my name is Chloe Malouf and I am the Marketing Director at Nizo Studios. Today I am in the Presentation Center for Molinero Group's newest project, Paradigm Stony Creek. So Nizo Studios did a whole array of our creative services, which includes scale model, renderings, animations, and our live site product offering. And so for today's video, I wanted to take a second to highlight live site and more so live site community, show you how it works and on display in the presentation center on this touch screen right here, and just kind of run through how the application works. So right here, we start off on our idle screen. So this is gonna show project branding. For example, we have this rendering here, but it's really customizable and tailored to the project's branding. So right here, I'll just tap and it'll bring me into the application. So right here, you're looking at the community view, so you can rotate in 360 degrees. You can also zoom in and out and just rotate all around the project to really see the project itself, the surrounding community, and far beyond that as well to really understand where the development is located. So from here, what I can do, which is a really cool feature, is play with the lighting. So this is actually geographically accurate lighting, so you can see the shadow studies and you know how the sun will rise and fall based on different locations on the development, which is a really useful tool for buyers to see. From here as well, another fun little feature that you can do is our seasons feature. So right now we started off in the summer um, season, but right here we clicked on spring and now it's getting the rain, making it a little bit gloomier, just to make people feel more you know, involved with the project. Then we can go to the fall season and it's just gonna change the colors of the tree. And then last but not least, we have the winter season. This is personally my favorite. I love seeing the snow fall. It just makes it way more interactive for the buyers, especially in a project like Paradigm Stony Creek or others where you have all four seasons. This is really cool for buyers to just play around and have fun with the experience. From here, another personal favorite feature is going to the nighttime setting while it's snowing because you can see all the lights and just give it that magical feel. Other than these features, we'll just go back to the summer feature right here. So from here, that's kind of the pretty aspect of the application, but what's really nice about LiveSite Community is you can kind of have all of the information that you need to sell the development. So on the bottom, we have um, different tabs, so community views, unit search, floor plans, a bunch of things that you can do to call out different features on the development. So we're just gonna go through that, see how it works, and go from there. So right here we have community views. So this is gonna give you a cool pulled up like view of the development, but call out different amenities or important things that you want people to know about in the development. So right here we have some renderings that open up. We have the gym here, people can see what's up here. This is a sports lounge, just to give people, you know, important call outs for them to know about the development. This is the outdoor gym. And you can call out whatever you want. You can use renderings, real life images, from here, we're going to go to the unit search feature. So this, I like to say, is the most important part about the LiveSite community application because this is what really ties together all of the unit information and what's sold and on hold in the uh, project. So what's cool about this is LiveSite is actually a real-time application. So all of this data is pulled in real time to tell you what's sold, what's available, what's on hold. The nice thing about this is for the sake of this you know, video, you can see that all of the units are still available, but let's say once things start getting sold, it'll actually remove all of the highlighted boxes so buyers can't select um, what's already been sold. But for now, because everything is available, we can see that everything is lit up. And this is also, again, customizable to how you want the colors to be, project branding and all of that, which is really useful. So right here, we have the filter tab, and this is gonna be a really important feature for buyers to kind of go through what they're looking for um, and specify the units that they are looking for. So we can go through the size, we can you know change floors. So now I'm looking at floors 7 to 12 and then now I can see you know what's what's available here. But what I can also do is go through the different bedrooms, kind of select and deselect what I don't or do want and orientation as well. So now I can see what's available from the things that I filtered out, which is extremely useful for buyers to see. And then now I can start going into the actual units and seeing what I want to select. So this one will highlight, call out important information, tell me the unit, the name, beds, interior. Um, you can also include pricing on this as well. And then it tells me view 2D or 180 view. So from here, I'm going to say view 2D. It's going to pull up the 2D floor plan. Another thing you can do in LiveSite, but it's not on this application, is actually do 3D floor plans as well, which is 
even more beneficial for buyers to see the 3D dollhouse of the unit or whatever the project may be. From here, the floor plan is pulled up, but let's say I'm in the, you know, trying to decide between two floor plans, for example, and can't decide, I can actually compare, which is super useful here, and then filter between different floor plans. So again, if I want to go, let's say, I'm looking just for two beds. I can select one, go through it, zoom in and out. Let's say I actually want to select the new one that I've chosen. I can say locate suite, and it's gonna tell me exactly where the suite would be that I have now located. So now I can go view 180 view, and it's gonna pull up like an actual drone footage of what my balcony view would be. And that's a cool feature for buyers to see what their view is gonna be in real life. From there, we can actually go to the balconies tab and view the different balconies on different floors. So I just selected floor four here. I can see, for example, floor 11 and just see that like there. From here, I'm going to click community amenities. So that's going to give me a pulled out view of all the nearby community amenities that we want to call out for the buyer to see. So these are completely customizable to what you want to call out. So let's say I want to choose pin 17. It's going to tell me what the amenity is and the distance from the community, which is really cool. So this one is 13.4 kilometers away from the development. And what I can see here is, let's say I choose this one, it's going to highlight the pin, and this pin right here is going to tell me where the development is. So now I know exactly where it is even to the development site as well. So I've chosen that, and it tells me the distance. I can do this and see that. And what's cool about this feature as well is you can highlight transit routes. So Highway 403, QEW, just important routes that are near the development can also be highlighted here with these flashing lights. I can also filter through the different amenities here on this tab. And this can give me a super focused view of some amenities that I just really want to focus on. So let's say, you know, all these amenities are great, but I just want to focus on the golf amenities. So I can turn off all of these and just specifically see the golf amenities that are near me. So right here, I have this one that's 24 kilometers from the development. This one that's 6.5 kilometers from the development. So it just gives me a really focused view of what's around the project. And if I click this, it'll just find me back to the development site and I can see it there. And last but not least, we have the media tab. So the media tab is like the final marketing place that you can put all of the marketing material, videos, renderings, photos, features and finishes, builder story, just anything that you want to finalize the project and tell people about. So right here we can go through some renderings. And what's cool about this project and Nizo as a one-stop creative studio is that we actually created these renderings. So we put them into the application as well for buyers to see. Then you can look at features and finishes and the builder story as well. And like I said, this is all customizable to what you want to include in the project. And then we just go back to the community tab, go back to the building and we can see the project and what it looks like and just get buyers excited about what's to come.